I get here early to be prepared and be ready for the day. I'm Donnie Kelly, the bench coach for the Pirates. Uh, well, in spring training, uh, organizing everything, making sure that uh, schedule and everybody's functionally moving around and doing what they're supposed to do from a baseball standpoint every day and planning out the days and helping Chelsea with lineups and I'm basically the assistant manager. This is the last day of live EPs. Those are the days that give bench coaches heartburn. It's all about the timing, all about making sure that there's not too much time in between everything, but also not nothing overlapping and you got two fields booked for the same thing at the same time and you don't want pitchers throwing somewhere where there's gonna be BP going on. Um, just little things like that, but really it's about the timing of making sure that once BP is over for the players, that the pitchers are getting loose, the ground screw has enough time to flip around the fields to get the tech out, you know, track man and everything to get set up for the live EPs. So making sure that everybody has enough time to do that, but it's not too much time that causes a big delay. We are going to be here at LeeCom until seven o'clock-ish and then head over to Pirate City. That's when the real fun starts and get to meet and figure out, you know, if there's anything we need to change or how we're going to do it and really dive into into today and have staff meeting, early work with, with the players and then, you know, full day over there on the field. I'm working out Saturday. Just the guys that we're projecting to play, who has a live EP, who has a side, and then start to work on the timing of how that day will go. Yeah, there's definitely a plan in how we do it. And, um, you know, Skip's really good about communicating with the guys, finding out how they're feeling, especially early on, because it gets really tough those first few days when ramping back up into game shape. And that's why you see guys really only go three, four innings, you know, and split the game that way. You know, just to get your endurance back up and get your legs back underneath you. So, and then with the young guys, it's, they come in on the backside. It's just, you want to see them, see them play and see, see how they do. And especially guys that are multi-positional, finding ways to get them in at different positions too. Okay, so I put up, so tomorrow's obviously up there and then um, Saturday will be this. Oh, okay. So this is this is tomorrow, this is Saturday. Yeah. Okay. What are we doing Friday morning? Saturday morning? Saturday morning is a regular day. What time? 9.40 stretch. Okay. All right, let's talk about it then. I want to do separate hitting, pitching, and then just Major League staff going into games. Does that work? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. You let me know. Yeah. This will be group. I want the Orioles to hit later. They'll do defense. So tomorrow, this would be, it, we would use this one. You know what I mean? These two? Mm hmm. Okay. For the groups. This would be up here. N no, like, because the group A <clears throat> is going to stretch, throw, defense, and then hit. I want the older guys to hit later. Oh, okay. Yeah, during spring training, um, kind of DK's right-hand man with the schedule. So he'll kind of write all the information up on the board. And then I'm the Excel guy. So I type it all into Excel, format it, um, put all the information in. And then at the end of the day, we just kind of go over it and make sure it's all good to go. He's the man. I can't, yeah, I can't do the Excel. I can. Roomy. That's my roommate. That's my roommate right there. TB? Hey, TB, I need to catch up with you real quick. A um, couple of things. So you're good with the, um, with this, where you're going to stretch D. You're doing defense first, then mm -hmm. throw, because then we're going to go into the cuts and relays, um, which I think we're good for the cuts. Are you good with, do you want to place the baseballs, or do you want, like yes. we've done before? Yes. 
Um, that way we can we can control it better that way. And then just, block, just put them. Bam. Yeah. Are you good with doing that on our field? Could you get Kyron? Yes. To or whoever to coordinate the other. Yes. We need to make sure that we've got guys on each field. We should have been <clears> having them on there the last couple for, of days. Uh, at third base contact. Contact. Um, yeah. Perfect. Morning. Morning, guys. How you doing? Doing great. You? Hey, what do we got? We, we have sides. That we have to fill in. Small? Yeah. And nah. You want to be on? Yes, you want to be on. Who? Donut guy? Is that you? That's sick. Clay's birthday, too. Is it? I turned two today, yeah. Wow. Oh, Come play happy birthday. Yeah, I will. Good morning, Donut. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you bought us donuts? No. What a guy. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> today, it's just going to be going through it, and more so for the outfielders to, to throw. Good morning. Uh, awesome day yesterday out on the field. Um, can't say enough about everybody and the timing and how everything went off. And uh, Miracle League was great turnout, success yesterday. Um, TB, TB1, little TB. You good? All good on your end? Big TB? You're good? Awesome. Uh, Oscar, anything pitching wise? PFPs, <laughs> we got to see a little bit more of them, obviously with the time now, with the, being a little bit earlier. Uh, the guys doing the PFPs and being involved with that, it's outstanding. I mean, it's how many days in camp already? And those guys are getting after it every single day and they're having fun while they're doing it. So I just wanted to make sure we brought that up. That, it's been awesome to watch. Awesome. Thanks, Oscar, for sharing that. Hainsey, you got anything? Yeah, I do. Quickly, one thing. Not only hitting guys, just whoever's on those fields. Uh, tomorrow's a lighter day still, right, Donnie? It is. My preference tomorrow would be guys don't swing much. To be honest, that's going to be tough because they all want to. I mean, we literally hit, you know, depending on when they got here, it's day, day nine. Like, it's a lot of days in a row. So my point is today, just remind guys on your field, like, hey, tomorrow's a really light day. That will help them if, you know, I don't want them backing off today with them not knowing that tomorrow's a lighter day. It helps them like organize the next couple days. So I would remind them of that. And then um, just to piggyback, um, I haven't said it enough, but you guys are crushing it, man. You know, you're, you're freeing me up to do more impactful things and like how guys are helping the ground through and all that. Just, it's awesome. We just can't back off. We gotta keep it going. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Rabs, anything from catching? No, no doing good. All good. Great. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> PFP will be a different, be a little different. We got King of the Hill today, and the situational. I talked to Andy; he'll be over there with you guys for with the with the watch for the situational part. I'm sure, the guys are looking forward to King of the Hill. We'll see who comes out on top. Um, Tarek, the base running at third base today, and really focusing on the contact read. You know how aggressive we like to be in regards to that. Real quick, we're going to do cuts and relays today. Uh, I've talked to. All, all of the infield guys, it's going to be more controlled uh, in terms of not hitting it. <clears throat> We're really focusing on the attention to detail and that intent that we've talked about when we get out there. So we'll clear everybody for, for that team defense at 1020, go off on two fields. Maz will be on field four, Sanguian on field one, and really focusing on the outfielder coming up, making a strong throw and hitting the cutoff guy, right? That's our, that's our intent, is that the first cutoff man. A great point. And made a note here, if it's high, let it go. If it's high or low, let it go, but do it again. Make, make the outfielder do it again because, yes, we want our infielders to understand if it's high or low, we're going to let it go, but that's not the intent of the drill. The intent and the focus and the attention to detail is we're going to hit that first cutoff guy. And then we want our infielders making a long hop to whatever base, thir either third base with first base unoccupied or home plate with first base occupied. Uh, Hainsey mentioned tomorrow, light day in the cage and just really watching their, their volume. Because as we get into games here and guys start ramping up and the adrenaline starts going, you know how that, how that um, really gets gets guy the 
focus right now has been great, but it's, there's another level when we start games. All right, thank you. Have a great day. You guys are going to get double dose, double dose of glove work today. How much have you been over first? A uh, couple innings. A couple innings? <laughs> Baseball player, though. <laughs> He's ready. Baseball player, you're ready. Oh, heads up. Nice. Cuts and relays today. Yes. So you, you guys are going to do defense first? And then throw. And then throw, just so that you're like. That big gap between the Yeah, yeah. I got you. It's be hot. I've got to hydrate. Got to hydrate. Hey, let's go set these up. Got him. <laughs> Catches. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, and then when you when you mess, you can like just tilt it down yeah. to get the get the top one. Hey Peggy, back to original field. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Good. You mean yeah. half field? Uh, no. Oh, you'll he? be on. Uh, you'll be on one today. Okay. You know where you're going? Nope. I'm following the catcher. There you go. You're a smart man. Choi, how you doing? Really good. Really good. Really good. I tell Cruzy when he show up and he not smiling. I feel I know something not right. Yeah, because he's he always smiling, right, Cruzy? He's working with me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey. All right, it. we start off with glove work in the back, uh -huh. and then go to ground ball. Nice key. You said it. You gonna hit it at him? Beat off, beat off. Like harder. You wanna whack it at him? Yeah, whack it. Yeah. It's a wrap. Bueno, green. Oh, I see you, Peg. Wow. How'd that feel? Like, that's that's it. Because you could have went here. You know? How'd that feel? Nice, Bay. Hey, direction. Make sure legs, direction. Finish. Nice, Cruzy. Hey, for, so for you guys, Ball down left field line, mm -hmm. so runner on first. Ball down left field line, we only run one cut. So, so runner on first, ball down left field line where we're throwing, lining up to home, we only run, run one cut, so only the shortstop gonna go out. Second baseman stay there, you just float down into, you're gonna be the, anytime they're a runner on first, you're gonna be the yeah, yeah. second the second guy in, So. Ball down this line, we hang like in the dirt somewhere out here is like the second guy. Nothing changed. Nothing, so, okay. yeah. So like in the gaps, then you're gonna be in here and down the left field line, that's the one where we want you to go. Yes, is that? Yeah. Perfect. Andrew. Man, you just wanna see bat path and the way that they're, they're moving and really put, want to see the barrel on the baseball is what you want to see I don't get to watch too much uh, what's up D what's up Kane how you doing I was locked. Hey, I was locked in right yeah, there. In. <laughs> um, hey, if you could cut at a, like right on at 11:20. No, nah, they're done. They're gonna be done at about 15. Okay, all for I got them down in 15 minutes. Hey, everybody, when we start, I go 15 minutes, 15 minutes. All y'all get so figure out what you want to get. Perfect. In cool. Yeah. I'm gonna tell the grounds crew that we'll start here then. Going from field to field, just making sure everybody has what they need, making sure that we're on time and that they know the end time because on the back side of this are live BPs and that's where we really have to be to the minute because the grounds crew needs to get on, flip the field, get the mats up, cages off, the tech guys will come out, put track man up. There's a lot of moving parts, you know, as soon as this BP is over. So we got to make sure that we're on time. So just checking in to make sure that they know the exact end time of when we got to flip it. This is where transition starts. Guys will start wrapping up BP. Field two is done and then just flipping it around. Grounds crew will come out, tech will set up. 
and then the pitchers are out in the pen getting ready to, to go. Oh! <laughs> that was sick. Oh my, uh, how about that? Boom. Yeah, I gotta be in the Great day at Pirate City. Everything went smooth. Uh, guys competed. Everything was on time, no injuries. And a uh, beautiful day out. Just uh, looking forward to wrapping up here at Pirate City tomorrow and getting over for our first game on Saturday.